What's up, honeys? It's King Brittany Chanel, you already know. So they're saying in the street that Tiffany Haddish has bombed at her New Year's Eve. No comedy show. Now, I don't know what's going on here, but was, do we owe Cat Williams an apology? Was he right? Is he getting a last laugh? Let's get into the commentary so I could give y'all the whole play by play. <laughs> Okay, hey, y'all, so I have to ask the question, was Cat Williams right? Y'all remember when Cat Williams was on V103 and everybody was questioning Cat Williams about him and saying he was shading Tiffany Haddish, calling him a hater, all of that, right? But it's the, you know, was it really the truth? Like, you know, have we ever really heard a Tiffany Haddish joke? You know what I mean? I'm getting ready to play the clip because, you know, I want y'all to remember what, you know, Cat Williams had to say about Tiffany Haddish. You know, all we've ever seen her do is put her tongue out and go, ah, and all everybody always want to talk about is girls trip, but you never seen no comedy stand up from Tiffany Haddish. So I'm going to play the clip and then I'm going to, you know, finish getting into the commentary. So let's play the clip real quick. Sleep with him. You only got Tiffany Haddish. She's been doing comedy since she was 16. You can't tell me your favorite Tiffany Haddish joke. Why? Because she ain't done a tour yet. Mm -hmm. She ain't done a special. She has not proven the ability to tell jokes back to back for an hour to nobody. And they are already ready to down Monique. And up somebody who has showed them Girls Trip. Did you think she wrote Girls Trip Goofball? Right. Or do you think that was already a script and they handed it to her? It, it's up to you, whatever you want to believe. I, I'm i the introduction to Tiffany Haddish in the movie School Dance. The clip for School Dance has been seen more times than the movie has. That's just a fact. But but the movie wow. Girl, the, the Girls Trip movie? Yes, ma'am. The one with that four, with, with three... Of our greatest black actresses in it? You right, mean that one? Right, right. But oh. I'm just saying, Tiffany Haddish... Ma'am, you could have Tiffany, had that role, yeah. and everything that happened would have happened unless you thought you were necessary to write the Saturday Night Live monologue. I'm Is a she... writer. I only care about what you write. I don't care about what you read. Everybody can read that can read. Okay, so that was what Cat Williams was saying about Tiffany Haddish. And you seen people was like, well, she was so good in Girls Trip. But it doesn't change the fact, you know, you reading a script, you know, it's like he said, you had all these Academy Award winning, you know, actresses, phenomenal black actresses in the film. So it would have been a good film anyway, whether or not she was a real comedian or not. So she decided, honey, that she was going to do stand up at a New Year's Eve show in Miami and she bombed y'all. Let me let y'all listen to a little bit of what happened. All right, y'all. So here it goes. Bro, she I mean, is bombing. Y'all 
came out here and I was telling her that I just want her to burp me like she used to. And the bitch punched me in the back and I burped. Oh, I should have did this. And you know what, baby? No more should have, would have, could have. None of that. You know what? It happened the way it happened. This is probably the only time you ever see me like this. Because I'm never doing this again. I mean, I'm going to still do stand up, but I will never allow myself to be this woke the fuck out. Can I? I'm not taking pictures right now, bro. I can't no further, y'all. So, basically, she bumped so hard that she started talking about her mom and everything else. And then, basically, blamed it on the alcohol, literally, the liquor, she claimed. She claimed that she was drunk, and, you know, that's why she couldn't remember no jokes. Now, I am on CNN.com, and it claims, um, I'm in their entertainment section. This was written by Lisa Respers France. Okay, it was updated 9, 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Wednesday, January 2nd, 2019. Get your life. Okay. So, basically, they said that Tiffany Haddish bombed. Now, people are defending her, which we knew they would, honey. We knew they was going to rally behind uh, Tiffany Haddish. But never mind the fact that Tiffany Haddish ain't been doing nothing comedic other than participating in a stereotypical st uh, stereotype of a, of the black woman, putting her tongue out like, ah, and saying that she want to smash white dudes and running around, you know, just reading scripts. And, you know, I'm all for people for the come up. But if you're going to say that you're a comedian, be a comedian for real. You get what I'm saying? Like, comedians that I see, even the little teenagers that be putting up videos, they could come up with jokes and snaps. You know, even just Hilarious could come up with jokes and snaps and stuff like that. So if you're going to say that you're a comedian, this is the same thing like Jacquees talking about he's the king of R&B and ain't proved nothing yet. How you a, com a comedian... And you getting all these awards for comedy and then you get up there to do stand up and you talking about, oh, you drunk and you start talking about your mom is out the mental institution and God be the glory for that. But it's just like if the people they booing because they done came to see a comedy show, you sitting there with a, a glass of a, a big bottle of alcohol and a glittery sparkly dress and not telling no jokes, talking about some, hey, y'all come up a little closer. Like what? <laughs> What was going on? So they claim here, Tiffany Haddish on Tuesday tweeted an article from The Root about how she bombed during her New Year's Eve stand-up performance in Miami. It was so bad that audience members walked out and Tiffany Haddish ended up having some drinks with some of those who remained. It was so bad, honey, they said she had to have a drink. She had to have a drink, allegedly, with the people that remained there. So she said, yes. This happened. I wish it was better, Miami. I prayed on it, and I have strong feelings this will never happen again. And, honey, I don't know if it's if it'll never happen again because she don't want to do stand-up comedy or whatever. But it says, Tiffany Haddish bombs drinks with fans instead. So, basically, that's what The Root had put up, and that's what she uh, retweeted. So, Tiffany Haddish wasn't ready for her set. It didn't stop a few fans from having a good time, though. It was some people that was there, you know, probably excited, you know, that they was there with Tiffany Haddish. But, um, she put, she said, I prayed on it and it, I have a strong feeling that this will never happen again. Back in September, fellow comedian Cat Williams criticized Haddish's, uh, comedic skills during an appearance on Atlanta radio station V103. This is what he was quoted to say, what I just played. You can't tell me your favorite Tiffany Haddish joke. Why? Because she hasn't done a tour yet, Williams said. She hasn't done a special yet. She has, she has not proven the ability to tell jokes back to back for an hour to nobody. Haddish actually starred in a Showtime comedy special, Tiffany Haddish, She Ready, From Hood to Hollywood, released in 2017. Some Miami audience members shared their disappointment with Haddish's uh, performance on Twitter using the hashtag, hashtag she not ready, a play on her now famous catchphrase, she ready. So they said she not ready. So, you know, different people were tweeting. One person said that Tiffany Haddish just bombed her show in Miami. We left in the middle of her set along with other people. Very disappointed. I hope you are a better, uh, you are better prepared before your next show, hashtag she not ready. Tiffany Haddish stand up tonight in Miami was horrible. OMG. 
Tiffany, uh, Tiffany had, <laughs> Tiffany Haddish, hashtag she not ready. We went to see the show in Miami. It was terrible. Walked out. So it says, um, basically, at Tiffany Haddish, just bombed her show in Miami. We left in the middle of her set along with other people. Very disappointed. I hope that you are better prepared for your next show. Hashtag she ain't ready or she not ready. But the girls trip star also found plenty of sympathy and support. So Professor P said, we have to do better. Tiffany Haddish had a bad night in Miami and people are trashing her. How many of us had bad days at work and didn't get fired? I'll wait. But who's saying that, you know, that she's getting fired? Like, of course, we probably know that Tiffany Haddish is probably still going to be in movies and stuff like that. But let's, my thing is this. People clown Cat Williams to the ground and said he was hating on her, all of this stuff, when he just told the truth. She could not do stand-up comedy, and he, basically, the point was proven. It was like, okay, it doesn't mean that you can't go and get yourself prepared for the next time and make a comeback with it, but you need some practice. And uh, I think we live in a society where everybody is so easily offended, and everybody cannot take you know, criticism and stuff like that. Like, everybody is not hating. Sometimes the truth is just what the truth is. Sweetie, you was given roles. They wanted you to play stereotypical black woman type of stuff. You done, you know, waltz through the gates and they done gave you all these awards. But at the end of the day, your comedy, you saying that you're a comedian. You have to actually be able to write some um jokes. The same way with this whole rapping situation, how people now, because they just seeing money and, you know, cars and stuff like that. And, you know, the people saying I'm getting money, but they saying they the queen of rap and all the rest of this stuff or the king of rap and they can't actually rap. They got people ghostwriting. So it's the same thing. It's like have some credibility with you in some type of way, but you can't say be mad at the people for saying, yo, you getting all these awards. We thought you was funny. We paid to see a show. And you mean to tell me not one joke came busting up out of there? Like, not one? Like, how you just show up to the show just not prepared with jokes? You didn't have nobody in the behind the scenes writing no jokes for you to remember for the stand-up comedy, something. You couldn't get uh, Kevin Hart or none of them people that be rallying around you to write you no jokes or something like that for you to be prepared for the uh, show. And you already knew people was, honey, waiting on that. They was waiting to see if she was going to slip up because, you know, people were saying that they felt like Cat Williams was telling the truth. You had people saying that he was a hater, but everybody is not hating. So basically, you know, people is putting up pictures of DJ Khaled talking about some, oh, you know, with a glass of wine and everything. Talking about me reading these tweets about Tiffany Haddish in Miami. Y'all are rude. So people is just like, you know, Terrain Walker says, everybody has an off night. That's life. I re I just regret I flew out from Miami too early to get a rum and coke. And so people is like, oh, we need to do better and all this other stuff. And um, how many of us had a bad day and we didn't get fired? And it basically they concluded the article by saying that Tiffany is scheduled to record a comedy special for Netflix soon. So hopefully her Netflix special allows her to do a comeback. I'm not going to make this video long, but I want to know from y'all, did Cat Williams get the last laugh? Do we owe him an apology for, you know, basically, you know, a lot of people was calling him a hater for saying that Tiffany Haddish ain't, you know, proved nothing and she only was in Girls Trip and basically read from a script. You know, do we owe him an apology? Y'all leave y'all thoughts on Tiffany Haddish bombing for New Year's down below. It's King Brittany Chanel. Definitely make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the next video as the two videos come up on the screen. And God bless y'all.